Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for January 6th. Please show me what Cancer needs to know, hear, or see. Thank you. I hope everyone's having a great holiday. Um, as you can see by my setup, I'm not quite home yet. Um, I've been, well, everywhere but home for the last two weeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm closer. All right, so here we go. So your first card is the tower. All right, so some kind of shakeup, some kind of tower in the upright so it means a few things it's it's something it's something big it's something that rocks your world um, but I feel like because it's the first card so I also read the past um, I read the bottom of it as the past you were in prison you were uh, maybe literal prison or you were stuck in some kind of situation you didn't know how to get out of it something is going to break you free. It might not be painless, but it is going to be effective. So prepare yourself for some kind of, it feels like revolution. It feels like you're busting yourself out of something um, and it's almost like you don't care what, what happens. Like you just have to get out this can also be a breakthrough, like a mental breakthrough, where you mentally bust out of a prison. So that's good, but you, you have to go through some, well, this is called misery in this position. So you're gonna have to go through some negativity to, to get to that place of freedom and bliss, but it's getting you there. It's getting you out of this stuck, imprisoned feeling for real or for in, or in your head, which is also real. I mean, feelings, anyway, we're not gonna go there. So your how is the Knight of Cups in the upright. This is someone bringing you ideas. This is someone, they're, they're facing away from this, so I feel like they're leading you away from this. Someone is giving you some kind of great idea or inspiration could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces. They, I feel like they're like, come on, come with me. You just have to keep walking and follow me and you'll get yourself out of this, some kind of really restrictive situation. This is someone that loves you. This is someone who is very understanding. I feel like it's hands off though. It's like they're there for you but you might not even feel like they're there for you. They're, they're there for you in, like I feel like they don't wanna to touch it, not because they're, they're like mean or, or cold or something, but because you have to do it on your own. You have to get yourself out of this thing by yourself. I really feel like this person is going to be there after though. They're, it's like they're waiting for you to get through this process. In your why, you have the five of coins in the upright. So someone could be in a three-party situation. This is in the other woman position. Um, this person misses you. This also is feeling very, very left out in the cold, feeling like you... Um, like you've lost something. This is also a confusion card. So there's a, it's, it's very similar to the tower actually. It's, it's like a mini tower really. So you're getting a tower and a half. Lucky you Cancer, I'm sorry. So the reason for this tower is because you're in this um, left out situation or this left out position and you just can't stand it anymore. You have to get yourself out of this or it's it's going to, um, well, it, it can cause depression. Well, if you're stuck somewhere, your, your brain gets stuck too and that's what this is. So someone's inspiring you though. Someone is inspiring you to get out of this situation so you can free yourself from this, this position of, lack it's also a lack mentality um but you're getting out 
You are getting out. You're also facing your pain or you're facing your demons. Um, you know you have to face the negative so that you can get past it. And how you feel. This, the light in the reverse. I was going to say the sun because that's what it is in regular tarot. Um, okay, so this is feeling very, very, very sensitive, oversensitive. This is when you're feeling like you have very thin skin. Um, you could feel like people are talking about you. This can be the gossip card. So you might feel very, very exposed right now, overexposed right now. But clarity is coming in your future. So it's, it's very similar to what I was picking up on here, that you have to face your demons, face, face the negative so you can break free of it. And that's what this is too. And breaking free of it in your future and finding clarity and good relationships and happiness. Um, good, good, good things are coming. Again, it's next to confusion things being out of order, you're going to have to deal with maybe some confusion in your life with money. You're gonna to have to put everything, um, you're gonna to have to use this clarity to put things back together in your life because everything came down here and you are gonna bust out of it, but there's a transition period. And as you feel better, you'll have more energy to write things, to, to get things sorted out, to get your money sorted out, to get your living situation sorted out. You could have had some kind of, um, even some kind of, I hate to say it, but some something cat catastrophic happening to your home, um, something sudden, something um, unexpected. But I'm really feeling that there's somebody there for you. They're not, like if they were pointing at it, they would be helping you, but they have their back to it. So I feel like it's very hands off, but I feel like they're there. They are there. All right. Your advice. Three of coins in the reverse. This is feeling like you don't know how to get your point across. You don't know how to ask for help. This means you're doing something by yourself silently. You need support, you need help, but you're not getting it and you don't know how to ask for it. But in your future, you're gonna get it. In your future, you have major support coming and I think it's from this person. I also, this is someone being a little bit flamboyant, extravagant, nonchalant. Um, right beside the speechless part of this card, so I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I'll figure it out in a minute. And at the bottom of the deck, two of wands in the upright. So this is an attraction. This is, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so in your, in your furthest future, um, like at least a week away, you are going to have a major surprise from someone who is very cares for you is this is actually like a brief fling maybe that's who this person was i'm feeling like you're going to be very very surprised but by the support that you get from someone um this person might be planning on contacting you and helping you but they're not saying anything right now they might not know what to say because they can see you dealing with some kind of major catastrophe um and maybe they're, you know, someone that you just met, maybe they're like a, a date and, you know, you don't even want to tell them all this crazy shit that's going on in your life, right? Um, because you don't want to, someone that doesn't really owe you anything, you don't want them to feel like they have to help you either. So you could also be keeping this from them. Um, but this is, this is like a, a short fling. This is being very attracted to someone Someone also regrets something here, something, um, they were confused about something. Maybe they turned their back on you and they regret it. I'm seeing that a lot in cards lately, like the last week. So 
you have surprise down here and then you have major support. This can sometimes mean someone famous is helping you. Um, but in any case, it's, it's someone who is there for you. Someone who is going to help you build something, maybe rebuild something, but someone is going to help you build something, put your life back together, get you out of this confusion and lack situation. This is also putting a lot of energy, a lot of determination, a lot of drive. I feel like someone's going to try and make something up to you, like they weren't there for you for something. Maybe it was, maybe they were a bit of a player, but I don't, I don't usually get that from Knight of Cups. But there is this other woman card. So someone was an extra or didn't belong somewhere. Um, someone cut ties. It might have felt like a major tower moment for you. And then healing. But I feel like this person, they're coming back. They just, this is being speechless. This is not knowing what to say. But someone is going to help you. But I don't think it's going to be this week. I think this week you still have to focus on getting your own affairs in order. I also felt like from the very beginning that this person was waiting for that. They were waiting for you to fix your own life. And not because they were being mean, but because it would teach you so much. Um, but they're going to surprise you. They're going to be there in the end, which I don't think it's that far away. They... I just got the word, they're literally burning for you. They regret putting you in this situation or not being there for you when you were in that situation. Sorry if that was all over the place, Cancer. Um, that was your reading for this week and your song is called I Don't Listen Much and it's by Junior. All right, I love you guys. Have a great week. Bye.